Speaking um, of gay things, let's talk about how we first met. Do you remember the first time we met? Yeah, it was in a toilet block. <laughs> <laughs> That's real, but seriously. Uh, <laughs> so you call me in, I was living in Puerto Rico. I said, absolutely, I'll come to Las Vegas for five weeks and live with you guys while we film the show. Let's talk about the state of you gentlemen. The first, like I had no idea what kind of absolute animal Joe Lopez was. I thought Joe Lopez was a sweet old grandfather. I arrive to the Airbnb. So let's, I land in Las Vegas. It might even have been a Wednesday night at that point. No, it was a Sunday night. I can't remember it well. Wait, for the record, I had no idea. You, we hadn't met him. I'd never we'd, gotten to know these we, 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 we'd, like We'd spoken over Insta or whatever, but... Joe would only sexually harass me on social media, but we'd never, <laughs> I'd never gotten oh, to... That was only after person. you started sending me nude photos of yourself, you know, which I had to tell you to stop. You, you paid know? for those photos, Joe. I didn't pay. And you don't pay for fucking anything, mate. <laughs> <laughs> that means something. <laughs> it meant something to you. You told me at least send me $5, so I gave <laughs> you $5. <laughs> All right, so I arrived to the Airbnb. I let myself in. I think, where are these gentlemen? And about an hour later, the boys show up, and we are fully, 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 totally smashed. Joe's well, immediately asking me to check. It was Joey Vegas. Joey Vegas came out. He's a special Joey. And he comes out in Vegas. And I'm, I was on fire. I'm stone cold sober. He's flowing fucking 24 hours in that morning. So I'm thinking he's probably tired. He's a uh, middle-aged gentleman. He's probably pretty tired at this point, you know? He introduces himself and then starts asking me to choke him unconscious on the spot, saying, I don't have a neck. Put me to sleep right now. And I believe I did. And he had a minor stroke at that point. Should we choke? I should choke you out right now, right? No, maybe not. Maybe not. Nah, 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 nah. It's a family-friendly show. I mean, I did that for Alex Jones. I only do that for real celebrities. You know? <laughs> oh. I love it. <laughs> Here's one thing we've got to clarify, right? So in the corner of Alexander Volkanovsky typically is me, you, Eugene, and Frank Hickman. Ultimate fighter started. We put Frank Hickman in the corner. What were our results, Joe Lopez? Oh, man, that was the worst experience. We went 4-0. Four, no. four <laughs> fights down, not a win. We went 0-4, and four, I believe. Yeah, 0-4. and four. It was embarrassing. Joe Lopez came to me and he said, Craig, we need a miracle. We need you in the corner. Frank Hickman is not up to scratch. Frankie's going to hate this, but it's true. And I said, I <laughs> Frankie's my brother and I will hate it, Frankie, but sorry, Craig did pull it through. For I'll us. take the reins at this point. <laughs> and I pulled us through seven victories, one loss of the next eight fights. And we were <laughs> able to win both. <laughs> divisions yes i'll claim that i'll claim that as if i was in the fight myself you know just well, like that. just it, like we both do with alexander volkanovsky <laughs> you know <laughs> people said to me how did he teach me how he escaped that guillotine i don't know but i'll pretend to know because he sells some dvds you know what I mean? mate you made a fortune out of that not as much as you brother no nah, no i didn't make anything you know you bought four houses after that fucking dvd well i had to have actually guys I, if you got a chance I have to, to house all three of your wives, you selfish bastard, eh? That's four, not three. <laughs> Cheers to that. Cheers, mate.